In this exercise we will create this sheet metal holder and you will learn how to use the sheet metal features in IronCAD. So I will close this scene and open a new scene. Then we come over to the starry catalog. Here we have the sheet metal group and if you click more catalogs you will also see that you have a sheet metal catalog. But we will use this sheet metal group so I will double click the group to open it and here you have the sheet metal features. So we we'll begin with a stock. So I drag a stock and drop it here in the scene. And this window opens. And the reason why the window opens is that this box is checked. Display the stock selection dialog on dropping stock. And here you can choose the, the sheet metal stock you want to use to create the sheet metal holder. In my case, I have this one as default. Uh, the hot rolled steel 2 millimeters. So I will use that default stock to create the sheet metal holder. So here I click OK and I have the stock here in the scene and now it is selected in IntelliShape level and you see the size box handles. With this icon you can toggle between size box handles and shape handles and you can also use the tab key to toggle between size box handles and uh, shape handles. And if you want uh, the shape handles to be the default handles when you come to IntelliShape level on a sheet metal stock, you can come up here to Options. And here in Sheet Metal menu, you can check this first option here, Display Sheet Metal Feature Shape Handle as default. But I will have the size box handles as default in my case, so I will click Cancel here. But you can toggle between the size box handles and the shape handles by pressing the tab key. So here I will select this handle, type 200, select this handle, type 200. Then I move the camera to top front right and fit scene. The next step is to drag a bend. I come over here to the catalog to drag a bend and I will drop it here close to this edge. And if we come closer, we see this red arrow. It's pointing out the direction of the bend. If I click this arrow, I will change the direction. So now it is pointing downward. But I want it to be pointing upward, so I click the arrow again to have the right direction of uh, the bend. So you can also grab this handle to change the length of the bend. And you can also right click, choose Edit Distance from Point, and I select this side here type 110. Next step is to remove some material on this side so I come over to the story catalog I click back here and then drag a cut extrude and drop it here. I grab this handle snap it to this side here and I drag this grab this handle snap it to this side right click this handle choose to point and I select this edge here. Then I will change the height by selecting this handle and type 50 and hit enter. Then I want to change the angle of this side and to do that I have to edit the cross section. So I zoom in a bit and hover the cursor over this side. So when I see the white box and the red arrow I can right click and choose uh, edit cross section. Then I select this line on this side of the midpoint so that I have the arrow head up here. Then I grab this node and drag it along this edge and I drop it there. So when the arrow is on this side I can double click this angle dimension. Here I type minus 45 and hit enter. Then I come up here to click finish. and. Uh, I'm satisfied with that. Next step is to add a band on this side. So I go back to the sheet metal group, drag a band and drop it here close to this edge. And I will double click this handle to change the length of the band and type 40 and hit enter. Then I right click this handle choose edit distance from point and select this side and type uh, 20 and hit enter. 
Then we will add a relief here. To add the relief, we can click this uh, icon to toggle between shape and relief mode. If you right click this icon, you will see that you can choose between shape and relief. You can also use the tab key to toggle between shape and relief. So when you are in relief mode, you can also see these two buttons. If I click this button, I will add a relief here. So you can also right click this button, go to bend properties and reliefs to change the size of the relief. And here I will change the width to two millimeters and the depth to 2.5 and round it and click OK and the relief will look like this. Next step is to add more material on this side. So I come over here to add stock, select add stock, drag it and drop it here close to this edge. Select this handle to change the length to 70. And then I add a band down here. So I come over to select band and drag it, drop it close to this edge. Double click this handle to change the length to 40. Double click this handle to open this dialog box and I will select inside sharp and inside sharp is the same as if you right click this handle and choose edit distance from point and select this side. So I will select inside sharp type 20 and hit enter. And I will also add a relief here so I will toggle between shape and relief by pressing the tab key to see these two relief buttons. So I click this button to add a relief, right click, go to bend properties and I will change the look of the relief or and the size of the relief. So I click reliefs, change that to 2, the depth to 2.5 and round it and click OK. Then I will cut a hole here, so I come down here to select round, drag it to drop it here. And I zoom in quite a bit so that I can right click inside the hole and choose tooling properties. And here I choose from the list, go to standard. You can also type in your own value if you want to, but I will select a value from the list. So I will choose five and click OK. And when you choose a value from the list, you will also get these two buttons where you can click to select another value from the list if you want to. But I'm satisfied with that size, so I click the green button to click OK. And then we will also chamfer this corner. So I come over to, this, to the catalog, select vertex chamfer, drag it and drop it here on this vertex. Change the length here to 10 on both sides. And uh, now I want these features to be on the other side as well. And to do that, I will come up here to select mirror feature. Make sure that nothing is selected. And then I click mirror feature. Come over to the properties. Now we have to select the part that we want to mirror. So I will select this part. And next step is to select the mirror plane. And the mirror plane will be this midpoint of this edge. So now we will select the features we want to mirror. So I will select this cut extrude and this side, and this add stock and this chamfer, and this band and that band and the hole. So now we have a preview on the other side what will be mirrored. Now I can click OK, and we have the features on the other side. So when it is mirrored, I can also change the, the size of different features on this side, and it will be transferred to the other side. So if I double click this handle here, and type 40, and hit enter, it will also change on the other side. And even if I grab this uh, angle handle, and move or change the angle of the band, it will also change on the other side. So I will right click and edit angle. Here I will type 90 and hit enter. 
double click this uh, handle here type 20 and hit enter like so then we will continue to add more material so I will come over here to select a band and I will drop the band close to this edge here and I will change the direction of the band by clicking this arrow double click this handle choose uh, inside sharp and 40 and hit enter then we will cut a hole here in the center so I come down here to select an ob round drag it and drop it in the center and I will change the size I right click inside the hole go to tooling properties here I will type my own value 25 and 6 and click OK turn on the tribal to rotate it I select this axis and left click and hold to push to rotate it in this direction 90 degrees then I turn off the tribal then I move the camera to top front right and fit scene so now we have to save this uh, holder so I click save and we will create a new folder here so I will right click here and choose new folder uh, we'll type sheet metal hit enter open the folder save the holder here so I will save it as sheet metal holder hit enter to save it and in the next video we will see how we can unfold this holder and make a drawing of it